cool. DJ, I guess uh, first off, um, have you had a chance to uh, sit with Masai? I know it's through the, uh, they quoted you, uh, but have you had a chance to sit with him and talk about his expectations of you this season and what you guys are going into the season expecting? Yeah, we talked for, for a minute and, uh, you know, you know, just expecting me to come in and, and just be myself, you know, come in, work hard, and uh, just play hard, you know, and, and that's what the type of team we're trying to build. What stood out to you about this opportunity here in Toronto, and how do you see yourself fitting in? Uh, it's a group of young guys who's pretty good and have a chance to be very good, you know, and uh, hard workers, and uh, that's, that's the type of person I am, and I want to come in and work hard with those guys and try to change things here in Toronto and, you know, make it to the playoffs. Coming from the outside, looking in last year, you played for Indiana. Uh, the Raptors had a couple good games against those guys. So what is your impression of the group of players that the team currently has? A lot of talent, you know, a lot of young guys. So, you know, just trying to build around those young, talented guys. And uh, like I said, it's going to take hard work and dedication. And I know everybody want to want to be that way. Dwayne's talked about playing a far more defensive style this year. Coming to Indiana, that's what you guys did. Can you talk a little bit about your experience there and how that might translate to yeah, I mean, defense basically starts with talking, and, uh, you know, we have a lot of veterans here, Rudy and those guys, and uh, I'm pretty sure they know talking on defense is what, what gets it done. So that's going to that's gonna be where it starts, and uh, just, just working hard and, and leaving it out there. Is it hard to stay in age to be a free agent looking at the, the limits of deals with guys who aren't quite out of getting? Like, everybody's getting, like, one, two years. Right. Not a lot of money up there either. So yeah. Hard yeah, it's hard, but, you know, we all playing basketball, making money, you know, no matter what amount it is. You know, it's what we love to do. And uh, to, I'm very blessed to be doing this for a job. Five years into the league, you're almost like a young veteran now. Uh, going from a lottery pick to here, what it, what have you sort of learned at this point in your career? Uh, it's a it's a business. The NBA is a business, you know. Um, but you know, you just gotta represent yourself well. You know, it's a job, and uh, you gotta take every day serious and, and go practice hard, games play hard, and uh, you know things will work out. You spent some time in Charlotte at the beginning of your career, and then you got the chance to go all the way to uh, the Eastern Conference Finals to Indiana. So you've seen kind of teams trying to make that adjustment and make that change. So I guess what from your experience can you say uh, the Toronto Raptors need to do to kind of get to that next level, seeing a group, you know, in the Charlotte team and now being an Indiana guy that had that great experience? I think Toronto has everything they need to be, you know, that, that type of team. And uh, like I said, it's just going to take hard work and dedication. And, uh, you know, going from Charlotte to Indiana, I've seen just – just how guys carry themselves, you know, in practice and in, in film and just everywhere on the plane, you know, and uh, I think these guys have the same attitude and I think we could be that. From playing against uh, Kyle Lowry, what do you know about him and how do you think you two will complement each other at that position? Uh, I played against Kyle in the summers a lot. He lives in Houston, so, um, you know, he's a tough guard, you know, and just playing with him, you know, he's going to help me on defense, uh, you know, just being tough and, and just being vocal out there and uh, I think we can help each other a lot. Can you talk about the transition going from Charlotte that was really going for the best lottery pick it could, to going to a team like Indiana was really trying to get to the finals. Mm-hmm. How, what was what was the difference in the environment? What was the expectations? I mean, winning, you know, kind of solves a lot of problems. You know, with the Pacers, you know, we won a lot of games, so the atmosphere was a lot better, and, uh, you know, guys worked hard, and, you know, we took it serious. And Charlotte was a little different with losing, you know, kind of you get down and, you know, had the same attitude. So, you know, hopefully here we can get things going in the right track and, and guys can have that winning atmosphere. What did you have to do for your own personal game when you made that switch from a losing environment to a winning? What did you have to do? Uh, just accept the role, you know. Um, going to Indiana, I, I didn't play the same role I played in Charlotte. Uh, I didn't get the same minutes. So you know, I just had to accept that and, and be a professional and uh, just go in every day ready to work hard. And whenever my number was called, be ready. Not that a, not that a team ever wants to lose, but in, in a situation like the Bobcats, there were priorities other than winning, let's say. What does that do to a player on the team? Uh, it's, it could be frustrating, you know. It could, it could take away, like I said, from your mental aspect of the game and practice, you know. And if you don't practice hard, you don't play hard. You know, if you don't practice practice good, you don't play good. So, you know, like I said, coming here, you know, I'm looking forward to being with these guys. They look like they're all serious about winning, and it's exciting. You've always had a good relationship with T.J. Ford. He used to play here as point guard. Have you talked to T.J. at all about this in the process to coming here or, or after? Uh, I haven't talked to him since signing here, but uh, I know he's going to give me a lot of good advice. He likes to talk, so I'm about to sit down. I'm about to take some time on my day and leave a block for T.J. to talk for me for hours. So that's how he is. Could you describe your, your own game, what you try and accomplish on the floor a bit? Yeah, just uh, trying to just be a general, a floor general. I've always been a pass first point guard. Um, always been able to shoot the ball. Uh, this summer I've been working on a lot of floaters and, and getting that kind of down because, you know, when I get in the lane with those big guys, you know, they try to, you know, tear me apart. So if I get the floater down, my mid-range game down, I think I'd be a lot better.